Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, September. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and uh, that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of first see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in, possibly clarify um, if any that needs to be clarified off camera as well. So you might see extra cards. Um, so let me just take these in and I'll be back. So, uh, Cancer, let's, let's start your reading. All right. So this is interesting because this is, you've met some, whoever this is, Cancer, let's start here, is demonstrated in some way that they're kind of a good, good candidate for you to partner up with um, and when I say partner up with um, there's different levels of commitment when it comes to just you know you guys so some of you are thinking about exclusivity some some of you guys are thinking about a marriage um, you know creating a family that type of thing it seems like this person fits that picture for you is kind of the right candidate for you but there's been some form of hold up for you in the past and I feel like it's tied to you maybe just not, there's a kind of like a battle, a war between that's going on within you. And just quickly guys, for those of you who don't know, whenever I go silent, that means I'm just trying to um, find the right words to express what it is that I want to say. Okay. So just bear with me. Yeah. So it seems like this person, it seems like for you, you know, are you ready to kind of, um, I get this sense of um, hanging up your boots type of thing. You, you can be a female, not a problem, but this hanging up your boots. Oh, am I ready to tie the knot? Am I ready to, um, you know, not uh, be exclusive, let's say that, to one to one person? And a part of you wants to be simply because this person fits that bill for you. You know, they kind of tick all those boxes. It seems like maybe they could have been for a lot of you some push and pull in the past when i say push and pull meaning kind of you moving forward and then taking a few steps back you moving forward and then taking a few steps back but i feel like there was a determination with that king of wands to change that uh determined to kind of move forward do something different with that page let me show you that i like to pick up the cards and show you guys um do something different determined to do something different so it seems like you maybe stuck this out or I want to say, oh, God, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Um, uh, made a decision to keep moving forward, keep mo taking those steps forward with this person. And this person was definitely, you know, taking action to progress that, to move towards that ninth cup, um, come out of that eighth cup energy, which is just, you know, things left unsaid and the icky emotionally but it seems like they're showing up as a justice so justice is being served they're feeling like things are working itself out they there is a foundation that has been already built between the both of you this person is emotionally fulfilled by you you know I feel like I don't feel like when it comes to this person um cancer that there's much wrong with this situation or this person. I don't feel like you've encountered anything that they've done that's shown you red flags or anything like that. It's more about what's going on for you, whether you're ready to progress this relationship into, whether that's exclusivity, marriage, whatever the case may be, whether you're ready to hang up those boots, so to speak. Are you ready to change your lifestyle for um, that type, for, for what it is that you, you want? ultimately and there, there's a bit of struggle there with the nine of wands there is some struggle there yes you're trying to maintain this like i said this taking the steps forward and keep moving forward but it's it's challenging for you 
it's challenging for you. There's a realization around, which I want to pull on that, just to have a peek, because we do have that High Priestess card, which talks about a recognition of what this person is for you. But it's, again, going back to, it's more about you. It's more about you. Are you ready? Okay, we've got that 10 there. Just wanted to pull that. Ah. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay. So there's a fear there. I'm not sure we've got the Three of Swords and we've got the Wild Card. The Three of Swords talks about, you know, hurt, pain, heartbreak, but also fear sometimes as well. The Wild Card talks about, you know, different perspective. The Wild Card is the end of the, um, the, 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 the card, the journey. The, the Tarot Card is a fool's journey. So every card represents the, a piece within that journey. The world card is the ending, the last card within that. So it kind of, you see things different. So there's a change in perspective. Um, it's fear. It's fear of being hurt. Uh, that plays a major role for you, cancer in this. There's fear around, a lot of fear around you being hurt or a past experience that have hurt you in the past or something around that for you. Um, there is that realization, but there's also, and that's where the tug of war is coming from within you. But there's also, there is this acknowledgement of what this person is, who this person is, what they represent to you. You've got the high priestess card there. High priestess card is a very much a spiritual card, divine connection, a deep spirituality, deep connection, deep spiritual connection, soulmate, twin flames, that type of thing. If you believe in twin flames, it's this acknowledgement of that acknowledgement of that of you of you if i can speak of you ultimately having what it is that you want which is that king of pentacles something that you've worked towards something that you've always wanted stability loyalty reliability you are drawn towards this person but we have that 10 it's like something has to end in order for you to um and i don't want to emphasize that ending <laughs> but there's something that has to end in order for you to progress within this relationship and I feel like it's tied to either a lifestyle for some of you or the idea that this person is going to hurt you, although you've experienced pain in the past. And I get it. It's that this person is, uh, you know, wanting to be strong. They acknowledge that they have to be strong when it comes to this, maybe a bit guarded as well. Just that's more about, that's more for their own protection. And when I say protection, meaning, you know, just kind of guarding their heart until, and rightfully so, and you can't blame them. You know, especially if they've experienced this kind of few steps forward with you and then few step, one step back, few step forward, one step back type of thing. So the question really for you is, is, you know, I get it when it comes to past hurt, past pain, past, uh, you know, fear around progressing something due to past hurt and past pain. However, you know, it's like come into and that's fine you know it's, it's come up within this relationship and that's fine that's what relationships are meant to do they're meant to mirror back to you your stuff for you to as they say you've got to uh, reveal it to heal it so that's fine but now we've got to look at how we can you know put this uh, soothe this soothe this hurt this past pain come to a different perspective come to a different perspective about that experience come to a different understanding about that in order for that to not have an impact on your future and moving forward yes it happened you know uh, yes it happened uh, maybe the person was wrong uh, maybe you know you you of course you contributed to it in in some way whatever way to whatever extent um, there has to be acknowledgement of that even if it's just based on the choices you've made around this person but ultimately, this doesn't define you. Um, ultimately, this was just an experience, an experience that you had, um, and it taught you something. What did it teach you? What did you take from this? Even if it's not to do that again, that's a lesson to be learned. Every relationship or experience that we have, we collect something. We collect something that we use or can use in order for us to uh, move on to the next or, or in order for us to use in the next I like to see relationships I mean when I have experiences with with um in terms of relationships I like to see them as okay so you know you've given me that you you've made me more aware of what it is that I want so you know uh, yes this relationship might have not worked out with me and you however you've kind of made me 
crystallize, have clarity on what it is that I now want, what my expectations are, the standard that I now set for myself. So this could simply be, yes, they treated you a certain way. Now you know the standard that you have for yourself. It's like, ah, uh -uh, that's not my standard. I'm going to raise that. This is a different person that you're dealing with, Cancer. This is someone that is very different, you know, uh, different in the sense of just, uh, I feel like, for one, the strength of this person is, a, I, I get this sense of determination around this person. They're not easily, um, uh, what, do I, what, what is it? They're not easily uh, frightened or, or they don't easily run from challenges. Yeah, and you have been a challenge, but I feel like this person is built for that. And that's nice. It's nice because then they're able to, you know, challenge you to grow in their own way. Gentle, gentle. Oh, and, you know, sometimes when people say, you know, challenge, challenge, they mostly think conflict, conflict. No, gentle challenging. Because this also, you know, to challenge you in a gentle way. Yeah, this person is built for, for, for that. They have a level of strength that I appreciate. Or, and I feel like that you appreciate as well. As I say that, the Nine of Swords comes out and we've got that five. Um, but again, we've got the strength card there. So it's like, yes, they might have certain, you know, thinking around this at times. But, you know, they kind of, it's, it's still this energy of strength there. It's like, you're not going to be deterring me from, from, from this. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, Cancer. Um, I will be implementing the part twos to these readings shortly guys just just bear with me i'm just trying to figure out what it is i'm gonna uh, give you guys with that um yeah so as they say like subscribe comment all that good stuff other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week